Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how you can make a critical path diagram in Google Docs. So all you need to do is go in a Google Docs, go insert, drawing, new, then it brings up this dialog box, and this is where you can do a drawing. And so we first want to do a shape, so let's do an oval for our starting back. And we want to change the fill to, let's just make it transparent, need anything there. And we want to make a little line in between it. There we go. All right. Once you've made one of them, then we can put our text in it as well. Let's just go zero. And let's copy that. So I'm going copy, which you can go copy by either going control C, control V. And paste. There you go. Might just make that a little bit bigger so that if there's two numbers, it fits. Same with this one here. Good. All right, there we go. Now, once you've made one of them, you can highlight lots of things. So I'm just going to select all that. I'm going to copy it. Paste it. Oh, no. <laughs> Pop it in there. <laughs> Good idea. Uh, keep safe, everybody. All right, let's pop that there. There we go. See how I'm doing this? And we'll go there. We'll go there. Cool. I've made my little... Tasks. Now I'm going to make my arrows. Here we go. Here's my arrows. Here and here. And I'm also going to add in the fact that there's a, oops, arrow back. There we go. And we need to add that there's a uh, dummy link as well. Let's see if we can work out how to make a dummy link happen here. So when you choose an arrow, you know, you can make it dashed like that, either with the dashes there or the dashes like that. So that makes it a dummy link. Cool. Then we just need to add our times and things, don't we? So let's go that it's a five. You know, you can rotate it like that too. There we go. Uh, let's move this down here. And then let's do another one. C3. Etc. Let's make another one over here. D5. Excellent. All right, and then we could do our forward and backward scan. See how this works. So here we go, zero. That's going to be five moving forward. Oops, I forgot to do this one up here, didn't I? Let's do that. E. Let's maybe make that one. All right, that's going to be two, six. All right, so that's six. Uh, two that way, two plus three is five, six plus five is 11. All right, then let's do the backward scan. Here we go, 11, take away three. All right, is eight, but there's six there, so we're going to put six there, and I'm going to put eight on there. Is the latest starting time for activity C is actually eight. And then six minus two is actually going to be four. So let's put a four on the, on the line there. Let's move that over so that it's clear what's what. There we go. And let's do this over here. We've got six take away one is five. There we go. Nice.
So there we go, that's how we do it. Oh, we've forgotten a couple of things. Let's do our start. Let's do our finish as well. Save and close it. There we go. That's how we do a uh, uh, forward and backwards scan on um, Google Docs. Oh no, I've just noticed that I've made a mistake. But luckily on my um, uh, digital version, I can just double click on it. And then I can go in and edit the, the mistake I've realized I made was I forgot to put a two there. Oops. I'm gonna need to move that start thing out the way. There we go, I can pop two there. There we go, that um, the earliest starting time is definitely two there. Zero plus two, there we go. That's better. Excellent, happy days, we're done. Happy critical pathing.